Hi friends, so this video shows how to clone all remote branches. So first, let me clone this project. Okay, done. So now let me go to the uh, cloned directory. And here, if you run git branch, you can see by default it uh, cloned only master branch. So if you run git branch hyphen a it will show all branches actually when you clone it actually clone all the branches but you can see when you run git branch you can see only master branch okay so if you want to uh, check out there is a uh, term called check, check out if you want to check out one particular branch you can run git checkout command then you have to specify the branch which you want to check out for example i want to check out this branch just run git checkout then name of the branch done after that if you run git branch without hyphen a option you will be able to see the branch which you checked out. Suppose after clone, you have created another branch in the remote repo. So how you get that new branch here? So for that, you can run this command git fetch. So when you run git fetch, it will fetch the new branch which you created on the remote repo. That is what this git fetch command is using. You can also specify git fetch hyphen hyphen all, but by default hyphen hyphen all it will use hyphen hyphen all option. So so this is a command you can use this git branch hyphen a. That way you can see all the branches in your repository. Suppose you want to see uh, the last commit in all these branches. Therefore, that we can use this command git branch hyphen a vv. See now you can see here it's showing the branch, all the branches, and here on the right side you can see the last commit ID and corresponding commit message. This command is useful. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe my channel. Please like and share the video.